previous session we have talked about the uh, to the uh, in, in the integrated model of the talent management uh, two dimensions uh, already we have discussed that is the leadership for the talent and talent for the strategy is there now in this uh, session we will talk about uh, that is a uh, strategies uh, talent for the strategies and talent for the strategic geographies uh, so total the, there were total four uh, uh, parameters two have we have discussed in the previous session now rest of the two we will discuss into the this particular session then there are the three levels of the talent management integration you know? so talent management integration with the strategy integration uh, with the strategy of uh, uh, the business strategy integration with the business strategy and talent management integration with the culture so that we will talk about that is uh, how it is going to be done now you see that is whenever we are talking for the talent for the strategic issues we have to also understand that how the products or services rely on a particular technology uh, here a very beautiful example has been given uh, you will find that is the whenever we are talking about the geothermal energy and these uh, uh, biofuels and here the we in order to meet the society's demand for the renewable energies are given now it requires a talent with a totally different experience if you want to develop that then you you are supposed to have the talented those who are expertise in this particular areas and but it is a challenge and this challenge particularly has built its culture around one technology what type of technology you are having and now needs to incorporate the new approaches as i was giving this example of this biofuel so they are partnering with different universities and the researchers here is the bridge between the industry and academia to attract talent who can commercialize the new technologies in new areas of the world so especially in the this for the fuel you know and when we are talking about the biofuel is there so you will find that is under the leadership of dr vinay sharma of department of management studies at roorkee and this is the fuel uh, in the hills area a wonderful research uh, have been done and he has created the fuel from these pines so therefore it it is the, if you want to go for the talent then the talent is required to be very specific with the new technology now talent for the strategic geographies are concerned a growth strategy often requires geographic expansion as i was given the example of uh, this the uh, de developing the fuel from these pines and therefore either within these um, uh, domestic market or into the other countries of the world is there so geographical location it is becoming the big advantage in the specific nature of the business but it also depends on the people those who are living that then there we talk about the talented employees it is particularly hard to build organizational capability in rapidly developing the economies and we are seeing that is the economies are developing and requires a targeted talent strategy to build the success that is what type of the success they can build the emphasis for the talent management will likely be very different when the organization is attempting to build a strong talent pool in these economies nowadays we are talking about the knowledge economy and in the knowledge economy if you want to talk about the talent management that this is, then it will be entering into a very very specific areas are there and we have to move becoming the more economically mature country if we are becoming the more economically mature country then definitely we have to use the talent as per as the geographic is the strategies are so when we are talking about the three levels of the talent management uh, integration uh, the model of the talent management that we will propose integrates are the business and human resource strategy is there that is a what type of the uh, you are having the business strategies and along with the human resource strategies so when we are talking about the talent development strategies develop the integrated uh, um, uh, talent model so that integration of talent model will be done with the help of the uh, human resource strategies which you have to plan according to the business maybe for the economies uh, developing economies or you are uh, geographically you are going from this uh, one one uh, country to the 
another country. Then the talent management processes are there. In the talent management processes, we will find that is the it is it, it is becoming very very important. That is the how you are working into uh, the. Uh, acquisition, de deployment, development and compensation and assessment of the employees um, talented employees are concerned and then the organization's culture what type of the organization's culture you are having. So, it provides a systematic approach and results in having talented leaders and individuals available to accomplish the mission of the organization. Most of the published literature on talent management refers to the integration of the talent management processes related to the other elements of the human resources management. Right. So, uh, that is a corporate leadership consensus reference is given and similarly one paper uh, is there uh, that has been taken care. Here I would like to share with you this particular model that is the integration with the strategies are there and the business strategy we are always talking about that is the basic core core base for any model is that is the in the business is that is the what is your strategy to run your business. And whenever we are talking about the most organizations that strategic planning process for these uh, business strategies, right? So, how they are explicitly incorporate organization and talent strategy. If we are keeping the separate the talent strategy other than the business strategy, then definitely it will be very difficult to get the results. To get the results, first we have to understand that is the what programs or the tools or mechanisms or objectives of the organizations is there. And based on these particular programs, we will go for the integration and alignment that is the process and programs will be there from the business strategy also and talent strategies also. So, basic purpose is to integration. Integration will create a backbone for the successful talent management practices. Now, on the basis of this integration, a final strategy will be decided. This is a holistic strategy and this holistic strategy uh, will be business strategy drives integration and alignment with your talent strategy is there. It will create an organization culture and that organization culture will be talent mindset is the pervasive. If the talent mindset is there for the pervasive nature, then there will be the integration of these strategies are there. Be careful that is the there should not be the silos or the watertight compartments for the business strategies and uh, other than that your uh, the uh, talent strategies integrate them and when we integrate them then a culture will be developed and that will lead the talent management practices. So, a current case, a current example of the integration um, of the talent planning into the strategic business plans is in the um, Ingersoll Rents uh, Security Technologies business case study is there. Traditionally, this business created value from the design, manufacturing and marketing of the mechanical locks primary in North America under the Schleers brand is there. So, therefore, it is becoming the uh, as usual the process will be it is a designing. Hmm? and then the manufacturing, manufacturing of this product and marketing of the mechanical locks. So, if you are doing this type of the uh, designing, manufacturing and marketing, then definitely you will be able to, uh, uh, then what they have done that we will, uh, I will tell you later. The strategic planning process a few years ago identified growth opportunities and goals, this uh, Ingerson rate and uh, through acquisition and market expansion. Hmm, uh, so, therefore, they found that is the there is a scope for the mass market expansion into the electronic access control and electronic security. So, if you see here they were into the mechanical locks, hmm? these mechanical locks and then they shifted towards the electronic security. Right. So, this transition from that um, uh, mechanical lock, right, uh, mechanical lock to the uh, uh, these uh, electronic lock, electronic security that that was that that, that was really uh, a, 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 a transformation of the organization because you are changing uh, the nature of your products. Uh, earlier, I have given the example of the energy. Hmm. So, therefore, the energy sectors right from the traditional, now they are talking in India about the hydro energy, solar energy, wind energy, 
right? So nature of energy is changing. So your technology is changing and then your talent integration strategy that has also to be changed. So, it was clear that this strategic shift required new skills in electronics and electrical engineering because you are shifting from manufacturing lock to the mechanical lock to the electronics lock. Software development because it is electronic security and global market development and naturally now the your the market share will be different, clientele will be different and, and therefore your market strategy will be different. So, for this what you require manpower? The new talent requirements demanded a shift in how talent was sourced. Now earlier for manufacturing the mechanical lock, what type of manpower you were having, right? And then accordingly you have recruited your manpower and then you have assessed, right? That assessment is done and the assimilated is there. Through the strategic plan, it was determined that many of the new hires will come from high tech companies with human resource practices. So, the sources and this recruitment right that will be decided by the high tech companies with human resource practices are there. So, if you are able to go for those um, recruitment, so you will go for the, those organizations where you are shift, in this case shifting from the mechanical lock to the electronic security. So, high tech companies employees will be required. And work environment different from those at the Ingersoll road rent. So, naturally um, now the employees those who will come from uh, the high tech companies to the uh, local uh, man made manufacturing locks uh, company right and this company is changing now, but uh, they are already working they are already having that exposure of the high tech companies. So, therefore, the, that has to be take uh, uh, has to be uh, understood that is the how you will uh, uh, recruit and um, uh, nurture and uh, adopt that talent um, high tech companies. So, here is the integration. Human resource strategy and organizations human resource strategy is necessary to support the accomplishment of the business strategy hmm, that I have mentioned and must explicitly address areas such as employee relations IR, compensation definitely. Uh, because they are coming from high tech companies, benefits, what benefits they are driving there, recruitment, uh, now it will be regular recruitment, tenure based recruitment, you know, so that, that you have to be very carefully decide your HR strategy and development uh, in order to create an HR environment that is aligned with the organizational goals. Now, your organizational goal is the development of the electronic security. So, your compensation, benefits, everything will change. Now, dear friends, you have to understand your existing manpower is not that high tech. Your existing manpower's compensation and the production was totally different. You cannot remove them. You said some of them you have to develop and make the use, but definitely it depends on the how many years uh, your organization has established. If they have worked for the 10 years, now you want them to work as in high tech company, practically that will not be possible. So, what to do about those employees? So, create that is a integration. Uh, uh, how to do that we will talk about. We create an HR environment that is aligned with the organizational goals. The integration of talent management within the HR strategy may be accomplished in a number of ways including through using common HR principles, what are the HR principles are there, philosophy, what is your philosophy is there, organizational philosophy, the mindset of the employees and employers both and HR systems and data. Uh, which is into the functions. So, uh, here you will be find that is the um, now the HR department integration of business strategy to the HR strategies, talent management strategies. So, in this case these, these points are to be taken into consideration or by having the shared competency models as in the integrating framework is there and when we do this definitely we will be able to come out with the integrated strategy. Once the requirements for the talent are identified with the help of these strategies and integration of these talent strategies and business strategies from these uh, human resource management program, they should bring the flexibility to differentiate strategic talent and that will be customized one.
here example is given within an overall budget for the annual merit right uh, rate rises in a pay leaders need to be able to give significantly higher increases to deserving the individuals who meet the criteria for the strategic talent is there. So, once your strategies are integrated, they are framed with the HR's policies and strategies, higher increases will be naturally will be delivered to the individuals who deserves that and you will do the justice. So, competency models for the integration competency model. Uh, so, competency models for integration, uh, uh, integration competency model can be the effective tools to define the critical skill requirements for the business strategies that is the what is the business strategy is required uh, and to align the various talent management and the HR processes accordingly. Such models can also help to transform the culture of a company naturally. Now, what is happening from the, from the traditional um, uh, manufacturing company to the high tech company. So, that culture will be changing, transform the culture of a company to the extent that new competencies are defined and valued for the future success. So, it is very good dear friends to talk uh, uh, in the classroom, but it is very difficult to practice and the uh, uh, and the transform from this uh, traditional organization to the modern organization. However, you should also learn that is this is possible. And in India itself, the transformations of the organizations have been done. So, for example, the, in the textile industries also, there have been the lot of changes uh, that has been in the automobile industries also, there is a lot of changes uh, from the uh, manufacturing, uh, manual based manufacturing to the high tech manufacturing. So, if a company wants to become more customer focused and emphasize innovation to a greater extent, these competencies should be part of the competency model. So, wh what should be the competencies? That is the how to make the new culture adoption that competency model is required. That was about the technology. So, in the previous slide, integrating the competency models, second one is integration with the culture. A current case at uh, Ingersoll Rent, which I was talking about earlier, after nearly 3 years of focus on talent management, 3 years of focus on this talent management that is those uh, uh, to whom you are developing the competencies and making them available for the new high tech organization. So, therefore, the talent management with the chief executives, the 3 years work, the chief executives and the senior management team, it was clearly time to make talent management a business accountability for all managers. It, it, you see for 3 years they must be it should be have been the sustainable hmm? and therefore, they should be able to go for uh, the uh, understanding that is the with this transformation from the traditional manufacturing to the electronic organization uh, this their talent management um, accountability to the all managers will start after 3 years. So, that was a learning and development phase that was a transition phase, that was a transformational phase. So, that is the, the employees were shifting from the, uh, uh, from the traditional uh, work culture to the modern work culture or the techno based work culture. Although the human resources and the talent organizations was driving a comprehensive talent management process, it was not going to achieve full impact until all managers understood their role in act as a stewards of talent. Right. So, when we talk about the servant leadership on one side, so second other side we talk about the stewardships of the talent, talent stewardship. That is the how the talent should work as a stewards. The senior team leaders, they decide to ask a group of high potential leaders enrolled in the companies that is a sponsored MBA program to create a way of assessing the current management culture and providing an action plan for creating a culture of the talent stewardship. So, what is the, this talent stewardship model? This talent stewardship model the same which I always talk. First is it is an integration. Integration of what? Integration of the business strategy. So, this business strategy into the human resource strategy is there. So, you, you identify and in identifying this uh, business strategy into the talent management strategies, talent stewardship, retain the talent uh, right, and assess the talent. First, we will go into these two points. 
So, these business strategies into what is to be identified recruitment and staffing sources, sources recruitment and staffing means sources and recruitment, selection of those employees, talent review potential, what is the talent potential is there, who can be converted uh, from the manufacturing lock to the electronic digital lock uh, production and the succession planning is there, successors are there. Now, when you want to retain the talent, leadership engagement is there. Hmm? So, therefore, uh, those, uh, those who are the leaders, what they will do? They will try to um, develop that type of this leadership engagements is there. Retention analysis, because now, now this process when it will start, no, changing organization development uh, process will start, and then many people will like to leave also they will find difficulty to adopt the new electronic culture. So, retention analysis is to be done. Uh, differentiated rewards are there uh, because they, they are going to uh, into different uh, uh, culture and practices. So, therefore, their rewards also to be restructured and measuring the effectiveness and then find out whether you are this talent uh, stewardship is working or not working. Hmm, otherwise, uh, because, uh, how many time it has taken? Yes, you are right, 3 years. You know, in this previous slides, I have talked about that is uh, after 3 years and that, that is the uh, manufacturing lock to the electronic digital lock, they have been security and they have been changed. So, measuring the effectiveness is there. This is about the retention is there. So, uh, uh, in the retention, you, uh, what is important is that is a development. How do you develop? Development planning is to be done of the manpower. Mm, their skills development, executive development, the leadership development is there, education wherever the uh, because uh, it is going to be the more uh, modern and electronic. So, therefore, the education is to be done. Then the leadership skills, those who are leading these uh, manpower and employees, they should be highly concerned with the career planning, mm, talent movement that is uh, how the talent is making the movements, coaching and mentoring is done. So, uh, that leadership style is required, that guidance is required and the early career programs are required for these uh, employees, those who are working on this. When you are doing this identifying, uh, retaining and developing the talent, so finally, you will go for the assessment. How will you assess? The performance management because whatever the changes you try to make that, that, uh, in the development, right. So, therefore, performance, uh, then the leadership assessment, and then the multi rater feedback is required always uh, uh, from their superiors, uh, from their superiors, superiors, superiors coaches, coaching, uh, uh, the coaches, uh, then all, all uh, multi rater the feedback is required and the engagement survey is required, how much employees were engaged. If you go by this, then uh, by the integrating the business strategy, identifying the talent management practices by retaining the talent, development of the talent, then stewardship model will be there. So, finally, we come to the development as a three-way partnership and in the three-way partnership, it is the set career goals, employee, manager and organization. Uh, seek opportunities and fulfill action plans. Manager is the assess the needs, discuss the goals, support, suggest and monitor and feedback. This will be the job of the manager, providing the resources, providing the tools, uh, have the values uh, link between these to the uh, employee organization and manager. So, there will be the definitely, there will be the shared vision will be there. So, finally, we come to the planning optimal development assignments. So, previous experience of the employee, that is a multiple times and those who are the first time is there. So, this will be high and this will be low. In the business importance, this will be the low this, and this will be high. So, when we are uh, trying to develop the optimal development sweet shop, uh, sweeter spot, then there will be the mi minimal development uh, where the multiple times is the high and the business importance is low. However, when there is a business importance is uh, high and, and, and uh, previous experience of the employee is low, then that will be the safe. Uh, here also, it will be the that is the employee previous experience of the employee is low, uh, that is low, and the business importance is also low. So, that is also the safe. But most important is that is the when your business importance is high and the employee's experience is low, may be too risky without support. So, therefore, your leadership style that is required to be very, very supportive. As a result of which, you will develop the optimal development and uh, sweet spot will be developed.
So, talent management menu will be the identification, right? Uh, talent planning st uh, uh, staffing, and then the university recruitment and selection, succession planning will be done, assessment be done with the performance management and leadership assessment, you know, that, that is to be done. Leadership is done properly or not, because that is the link between the uh, traditional organization to the modern organization. Developing the planning, career planning, developments, succession management and talent movement, which we have seen in the previous slide. Retention is the employee engagement and compensation and benefits are there. So, how it is to be done? This is to be done with the competency model, leadership, technical, functional, behavioral uh, interviews, talent reviews, behavioral interviews will be the that will be talking about uh, that is uh, how what is the problem in their performance uh, uh, and uh, what support they do they require, upward appraisals are required, now then the, in the development dialogues are required, career progression models are required, early career the rotational programs are there and uh, educational programs will be there. So, as a result of it learning events are there. In the retention employee engagement survey is there. Uh, recognition programs, differentiated rewards and the work environment is there. So, uh, this is all about detention, development, assessment and identification and then the medium emphasis and the high emphasis is there that is shifting from the one component to the another is there. So, this is all about the integration of the uh, uh, business strategy with the uh, talent uh, development business uh, talent uh, strategy of the organization and when you are do doing this uh, so ingerson rent is the done uh, with the help of the talent stewardship thank you